So today guys, I have been with this amazing legendary weapon guide for Starfield. This is how you get the Despondent Assassin Sniper. And well, a few details on it and probably why you should wait to get this thing. How's it going guys? My name is DPG and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Also guys, I'm trying to grow my Starfield community. So if you want to join my Discord, it is linked down below. Come over, chat, share, ship builds, ideas, whatever. Come join. Okay, so the legendary sniper, this one right here, is a decent weapon. I ain't going to blag you and tell you it's the best weapon in the game like a lot of other people I've seen. I mean, it's decent, that's for sure. Now what you probably will notice watching other guys is the fact for some this weapon drops much higher in the level in regards to that damage output over others. But a lot of the time the damage is tied to your skills also. That must be taken into account. So when you're watching somebody else's video and they do more damage than you, theirs has more damage on it than yours, it could be tied to their skills too. So keep that in mind. Also, as far as I'm aware, weapons don't scale with your level. This could mean that leaving this quest until you're a higher level, probably over a 50, might benefit you in the long run if you plan on using this thing. Okay, so on to how this quest for this weapon is started and obtained. So you need to go to the Xion system and then onto Aquila. So landing here guys, you need to follow the path I take, a path most people won't go to due to there being other quests along the way to this point and is kind of out of the way. Now when you get here you will see three NPCs arguing, wait until they are done and then talk to Davis. The quest line is called Defensive Measures. Now this quest line uh, consists of three quests, which for me took about 28 minutes if I look at my recording going back. The whole video in total was 31 minutes, but there's a lot of pausing here and there. So about 20, 25 to 30 minutes to complete, which is nothing considering what this game has an offer in regards to quest longevity. Some of them are absolutely ridiculous. So defensive measures is the first part. This really consists of you running backwards and forwards, talking to a few different NPCs and placing a few items down for a bit of data. The next step after you've done the first step of defensive measures is called false promises this again is really straightforward where halfway through you go out with davis to take care of a few monsters outside of camp upon completing this the next step of the quest line is a quest called the leader of the pack this is the last part which rewards you this legendary sniper this again consists of you running backwards and forwards within this camp now what I did here, because there's a part of this quest where you have to go outside the camp again with Davis to take down a few monsters with the leader of the pack, take down the leader of the pack, but you have to make sure, well I made sure Davis did not die, so I made sure he survived. This could be key in you getting this weapon, as I have heard and seen people themselves who have completed this quest and not got this legendary sniper. So if I were you, make sure he survives. If he does die, load up a previous save. Once you are done here, there's a couple more steps of speaking to a few NPCs, uh, including Davis, but the final NPC you will talk to who completes this quest is Keone. Uh, she rewards you this legendary sniper, and that for me guys is how I got this weapon. Now what I will say is there is a lot of dialogue within this quest line, but for the most part, I was straight up and did the jobs asked of me without any question. Also, there's a point within the first part of this quest line, where, or first or second, where you have to go to a guard within a tower. You need to distract him. I paid him credits to distract him. I wanted to make sure I got this done. That could also be key. Because they guard within a tower, they usually use snipers. This could be tied to this quest somewhere down the line. So make sure you just pay him. I think it's like a thousand credits. Just pay him to distract him. Again, this could be key. But yes, guys, 
completing this quest to reward you this amazing sniper well I say amazing this great sniper it could be great if it's higher powered for me it wasn't the greatest in regards to power I should, well I'm going to get it in new game plus anyway but I will wait until I'm a much higher level there well actually I probably will be or should be a higher level by the time I get to new game plus but yes you should definitely wait just in case because even if you take the risk and weapons don't scale with your level even if you wait I mean the sniper in my opinion won't be the best so you may as well wait until you're higher level if there's a chance this could drop higher for you but there we have it guys and this is how you get this sniper rifle the despondent assassin guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one